Mr. Okay. Bergman, do you know what a diamante poem is? Diamante. Sounds like two. Di, right? Mono, yeah. di, try. Yeah. So diamante, amante, amante. Sounds kind of French or something. Well, it looks like... Two looks French guys no. who are uh, eating French fries? No. It's just shaped like a diamond. The oh. words, when you actually write it out, it's shaped like a diamond. And y you've got a certain number of syllables. So anyway, I have a diamante so about... How many syllables? How does that go, work? So you've got one syllable, then three, then five, and then seven, and then five, and then three, and then one. And then it's there's like a pattern. Yeah, and then there's like a, this transition in the middle of the poem. Nice. So I have a diamante about gold. Gold. Yes, being the poet that I am now. You're a poet. You're I am. Here we go. Here we go. Diamante of gold. Okay. Bling. Valuable. Element of kings. I desire you. You must have you. I'll do anything to have you. Mine. Wow. What did you like? Eh? Like well, that? it sounds kind of selfish. You're looking for gold and you're trying to like be rich. Well, something. no, that was the thing. The first time I'm talking about he how neat it is, and the transition is how it makes me become obsessed with it. Oh, Did you the see the transition there in the middle? I missed yeah. it. I must not be cultured. No, yeah, well. Hey, now, last time. Hey, guys, <laughs> we learned about these salts, and we hopefully, um, in class, you've learned a little bit more about how to make these reactions work, so that today, as we discuss this, um, on the podcast, you will um, better understand how to now do the mathematics of this. Mm. Now, one thing we do need to talk about um, uh, that we didn't last time is that when we have those reactions from last time, so for example, if I have ammonia, I would just add this somewhere like where there's that K. If I've got ammonia, um, pardon me, ammonium, this is a reaction from the last time, so you've already written this down, plus um, water, H2O, and that makes ammonia plus Hydronium ions. I wrote that out of order. It doesn't matter. Um, you can then write the Ka value of this, mm -hmm. and the Ka would be equal to the concentration of the hydronium. Usually we flip these, and I screwed up. Times the concentration of the ammonia over the concentration of the ammonium, and that's called the Ka. Now, why the A? Because you made hydronium, so this right. is an acid. So the ammonium is, is acting like an acid. And then conversely, I can then have the other reaction we have, which is HC2H3O2, and dissociating into hydrogens and acetates. That's not what you want. You That's want not sodium want. acetate. Thank you. I want the C2H3O2 minus plus water, HOA, making the HC2H3O2 plus the hydroxide, and now you can write an expression, K the KB, that's a B, um, equal to the concentration of the acetic acid. It's kind of weird to have an acid in a basic solution. It's an equilibrium system. That's what you got to keep in mind. OH negative divided by the concentration of the C2H3O2 minus. Right. So you have a Ka and a KB. The problem is you're never going to find a Ka value for ammonium. Yeah, so the, here's the, the gist, is there's always this whole partner concept, right? Yeah. So we can say that the Ka of one times the Kb of another is always equal to the Kw. And one and another are partners, are the partners, the conjugate acid-base pairs we've been talking about. And Kw is one times 10 to the minus 14. So if right. the Ka of, say, acetic acid, okay, the Ka of acetic acid one is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Mm -hmm. This is acetic acid, hc 2 h 3 o I can look that up on lots of tables. His partner is c 2 h 3 o 2 negative. I can't look the KB of that up on too many tables. And then I can find this value because this number times, if you will, x would be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14, and you can calculate it. We'll do that yep. in some problems in just a few minutes. Yeah, so. But it's just the partner. So his partner, his Ka, will be... Um, multiplied by the KB will always come out to 1 times 10 minus 14th. Or if you think about it, 1 times 10 minus 14th divided by um, the KA value will give you the KB value of the partner, of only the partner. Yep. So let's do an example of one that okay. we could have to do that with. Okay. So speaking of sodium acetate, mm -hmm. what is the pH of a 1.140 molar solution of sodium acetate? Well, first we start with sodium acetate. So many students want to do this, NaC2H3O2. Now, what we really care about in the sodium acetate, though, is the... Acetate. Acetate. Because the sodium, we don't care about. So we're going to write C2H3 
H3O2 negative, and we're going to react it with water. H -O water, it's all the water. We must react to the water. Okay. What was that? The water. We must react <laughs> to the water. I love the mystery accent. Yes, I don't know what accent <laughs> it is. By Jove, I do believe we got it. Switch again on you. There. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Still don't know what that is. I don't either. <laughs> so H2 H3O2 plus the hydroxide. So, okay. this becomes an ice problem because it is a equilibrium reaction. Notice the double arrow. So ICE, we knew we had a point... Point one four zero point molar. Point one four zero. Now you must, must, must work in molarities all the time here. And this is zero and zero. I'm going to ignore the water because of the liquid state of it. Point one four zero. This will be plus X. Oops, sorry, minus X there, don't I? X plus X and X. So I can say that the K, watch this, the KB, because of the hydroxide up here. The hydroxide up there! Okay. <laughs> That's like Pee Wee Herman. Or I was Pee Wee Herman today. Okay, would be equal to X squared. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you tell this is the fourth one in a row we've done? <laughs> Third, is it? Third, sorry, you're right. Yeah, we've done three yeah, I can count in and a row. Math really well. Okay, now, I cannot use the KA, ladies and gentlemen. No. So if you look on the table, let's go back to the table from a long, long time ago. We're going to get message. Oh, I guess somebody just died. <laughs> Actually, nobody died. Uh, people out in Ireland, it is Drive Smart Day at Woodland Park High School. And so um, whenever that, it's supposed to symbolize a, a teenager. Car crash. Uh, Every dying, 14 minutes, dying a teenager in a car crash, drives which is sad. In a car crash. crash. So uh, we don't want to build a lot. Don't way. text and drive. Don't do that. And yeah. wear your seatbelt. I knew, I didn't know him, but a cyclist was killed that way. Some kid, uh, don't get me started. That was very bad. All right, acetic acid. Um, acetic acid's Ka value is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. His partner is the acetate ion C2H3O2 minus. I don't care about the Ka no. of acetic acid. I want the Kb B of acetate. acetate. So what I have to do is find my screen. Is this it? No, up two. There it is. All right. There. What I have is that the Kw divided by 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, and that's the Ka right uh -huh. there, would be equal to the Kb. Yes. And Mr. Sams, I'm guessing you I have that. Yeah, that is 5.5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6. Okay. Times 7 to the negative 10. So he calculated this value by just simply plugging it into this equation. And Kw, if in case you forget, is 1.0 times 7 to the negative 14. That is correct. So now I'm going to then take, and now create a screen, 5.56 times 10 to the minus, was it 10? 10. Would be equal to, it's what's our uh, concentration? 0.14. Um, x squared over 0 0.14 minus x. You now plug it in your solver. Plug. Plug. Plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> plug it in. We are getting too giddy. Yeah. And it's going to be? 8.77 times 10 to the negative 6. Get faster with my solver. And this is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen. No, no. Nope. This is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide and, and also the acetate. Acid, no, acetic acid. Yes, acetic acid. You're right. Sorry. Well, I believe the question asks for the pH. It does ask for the pH. So I'm going to find the pOH first. Take the negative log of 8.77 times 10 to the minus 6. And my trusty calculator friend, Mr. Sams. You get 5.06. 5.06. Therefore, pH is 14 minus 5.06. 8.94. So this is the answer. Now, does that make sense? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, wait a second. If it makes sense, we w should have a base. Yep. And since we produced hydroxide, hydroxide, yes. it makes it a base. Basic solutions have pH is greater than 7. Ours was 8 and some change, and so that's greater than 7, so it makes sense. Yep. Let's quickly chat about this particular um, diagram. This diagram is very useful in that if you have... Never mind. No, this diagram we will talk about in a minute. Okay, let's do example 2. That comes up after example 3. Okay, what is the pH of a 0.14 per molution of diethylamine? Diethylamine. Diethylamine. Now, do I know what diethylamine is? Not off the top of my head, but you know what? We have a table of bases. So if I go back to the table of bases, I have it in blue. I have diethylamine. This one, right? Yep. Diethylamine is C2H5NH2. Look, by the way, here is his part 
Faulkner, which, which is, is a wrong typo. again. Yeah. Mr. Bergman did this. Okay, that should be. I a still think it's from three. the textbook as a typo. It certainly could be. This is correct. Let's check them all. I'm just. Um, the rest of them look good. The old, yeah, yeah, that's the mistake. And of course, this one is still mistaken. These are the two wrong ones. Okay, these are the two partners. They're going to need to appear on opposite sides. So we have to write the balanced equation. But we have diethylamine. Mm -hmm. Is this it, right? Yeah. All right, so we have solution of diethylamine. Yep. What's the pH? No, but we'd like the diethyl ammonium nitrate. Um, yes! Okay, a bad I question. We're going to change the question on the fly right here, guys. So, sorry about that. We're going to say diethylamine. We're going to say, um, actually, let's just write it out as an equational yeah, way. We'll say guy. C2H5. In parentheses. Parentheses. 2. 2. NH3 positive. NH3 plus NO3. No, chloride. Okay, that works too. All right, so here is our chemical. And I want to know what is the pH of a 0.14 molar solution of this. Now, you see I see of the chloride, and this is one large thing. This is sort of like ammonium. Think of this like ammonium chloride. And this is just a big ammonium right here. Yeah. Okay, and so when we write our reaction, we're going to say C2H52 yep. NH3. NH3 plus. Now, I am going to ignore the chloride because this chemical essentially breaks apart into the big uber guy with the positive charge and the chloride. Chloride never affects pH. Yeah, chloride, yeah, because it's part of a strong acid. Yep. So then I'm going to react it with what? Oh, with water with water. I'm going to write water as H2O, and that makes the hydronium ion plus this ugly beast C2H52NH2. Now we do an ice problem, ICE. So this is very similar to our last problem. We have a point, was it 140? Oh? Uh, point 140. Yeah. 140, and then 0 and 0, again, ignoring the water right here, minus X, point 0.140 minus X, plus X, X, plus X, X. So I can say that the K, now watch this, I make hydronium ions. The hydronium is a acid. Acid, 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 acid. So it's going to make a Ka. So the Ka would be equal to X squared over 0 0.140 minus X. Now, I must use the Ka value. So if I go back to my table, we find that the Kb, I'll go back there, that the Kb, if I can find it, is this yep. it? Yep. The, the Kb, I've said that 14 times because I'm trying to find the screen, is 1.3 times 10 to the minus third. All right. So that's the value from the table. So let's save this for a moment. So um, remember Ka times KB equals KW. And the KB is 1.3 times 10 to the, 10 to the minus yeah. 3. KA times this is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th. You simply solve for KA dividing, and you get 7.69 times 10 to the negative 12. Now we plug this into our solver. And we solve for x, and x is equal... 1.04 times 10 to the negative 6. Hold on, I'm going to write H3O oh, positive, which is... Uh, 1.04 1 1 times 10 to the negative 6. Times 10 to the minus 6. Now, we did this very quickly. Actually, Mr. Sams was solving the problem while I was talking it through. It, it is good that you would do the solver problem yourself on your calculator. Put yes. pause and such. Please do that so that you are become Mr. Expert or Ms. Expert solver person. So now we need to take the negative log of that because we asked for pH, right? So yes. negative log of this value would be about uh, 6. Yep, 5.98. 5.98. How did I know that? Because at 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 would be the pH six. of 6. And it's just a skosh smaller than that. Okay. A skosh? And a skosh is just a little bit, yeah. Hey, now we have... Can you convert that to moles? I think so. A skosh is equal to... Can um, you find its skoshal mass? Molar, skoshal molar mass. skoshal? <laughs> well, I don't know. How many have we done in a row? I don't know. <laughs> Too many. Okay. Um, a little bit of typo. It's not really typo. It's just kind of bad it's formatting. Subscripted. Subscripting. All right. Now, all we're going to do here, no math. Nope. We're just going to predict. Mm. 
Now, which one has a higher pH? Or uh, is it acidic, basic, or neutral? Yes. Which is it? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. I have a motor.